some good anthropomorphic boxes of mystery. Come along with me. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Misty Show. This is a channel that's just fun for me. It's all about just things that I enjoy and weird little wacky things that make me happy and I hope that you find some joy and some happiness in these videos as well. This video is a fun one because everything, well most everything that I'm going to be opening has been sent to me by some friends of mine. So thank you so much, Jean. She sent me an entire case of the Kid Robot Yummy World Fresh Friends keychains. I love anything that that's anthropomorphic and takes on or takes on human form. So these are right up my alley. Jean also had sent me some of these uh, cutie fruities. So I've got several of those to open. I had another friend send me a mushy squishy. So we're going to open that. I also have some odd things that I actually bought for myself. A bubbaloons. Apparently it's a critter that will blow Bubbles? Maybe. I don't quite know. And then a cry baby. I don't really know what to expect with these. Do they cry real tears? I guess we'll find out. But I also have some Hatchimals, some Kitty in my pocket, some Jungle in my pockets, some Puppy in my pockets. And then these. I was curious about these. These are the Pixar Minis. Really hoping to get a Forky because that's my favorite. So sit back, relax. It's going to be a little bit of a longer video while I open up some mystery, some good anthropomorphic boxes of mystery. Come along with me. So I thought we would just go ahead. These are the easiest things to open. And these are the kitty in my pocket, the puppy in my pocket, and the jungle in my pocket. These are all available at Dollar Tree. At my Dollar Tree, they are $1.25. Do you remember the good old days when Dollar Tree sold things for a dollar? Those days are sadly, sadly long gone. But these are really, really cute. And if you're going to a birthday party for a child, go into Dollar Tree, grab some of these. They're a lot of fun. So let's open up the kitty in my pocket. We have lots of different ones that we can choose from or that we can, that we might get in this little setting right there. You can pause the video if you would like to get a better look at the kitties that are available. This one is really cute. This one's Smokey. That's his name. He's sitting in a little bag and they are flocked. They're really, really cute. So a great little gift to give to someone or... If you like toys like me, buy one for yourself. All right, this one's Kitty in My Pocket, number two. The A couple of these were given to me by a friend of mine, Desert Gal Curios. Thank you so much. There's a little white one here. She looks like the Marie from the Aristocats. I don't, where's she at? Where I threw my paper away. This is Snowflake. I'm Snowflake. She's a cute one. All right. We got the third kitty in my pocket. Oh, I like this one. She's like a little witch. She doesn't, she's not on here. She must be a rare one. It's a little witch cat. Oh my gosh, it's a little wizard. She's got her little, that one is the cutest. Oh my gosh, it's got like a little wand. Yeah. And it's a little hat. Oh. <gasps> That one is the cutest one. That one's the cutest one so far. I don't think I have any other kitty in my pockets, but that one is not. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, it was, Misty. I I tore the, the top of it off. So it's not rare, but it's Dylan. Dylan is a white, long-haired cat. But Dylan is the cutest one, I have to say, of that bunch. All right, now we're going to move on to puppy in my pocket. I will say that Dollar Tree doesn't always have these in stock. So if you can find them, it's great. Um, the choices that you could get for puppy in my pocket are right here. So you can pause that if you would like to see the choices. This one is Wendy and Wendy is a Wheaton Terrier. 
But like the kitty in my pockets, they are all flocked and very, very cute. All right, the next puppy in my pocket. These bags are really, really easy to open as well. Oh my gosh, this one is Jumper. And Jumper is a little Yorkie Terrier. Adorable. So cute. All right, we've got one more puppy in my pocket. Oh, we didn't get a repeat. We got Tabby. And Tabby is a golden retriever. Tabby's got a little... Or, nope, I guess they're little goggles. I thought it was a bow. But Tabby's like an, an aviator. I'm an aviator. I fly airplanes. All right, so those were all of the puppy in my pocket. So now we've got two jungle in my pockets. So these are the jungle in my pockets. The exotic. I would really like that alligator... I haven't gotten the alligator and I would really like the alligator. This one is the most common one. I am so sorry to you, Fernando, but Fernando, I get him all the time. Yeah, she gets me all the time, see? Very cute, Fernando, but I'm kind of sick of seeing you. All right, the last puppy in my pocket, not, a, not an alligator, we got a little lion. This is Lionel. Oh, you can't even see. This is Lionel. And Lionel is a little lion. He's very cute, but he is not an alligator. And I was really hoping for the alligator. Well, those are cute. And again, these are all available at Dollar Tree. Very inexpensive and very, very cute to give as a gift. To a child or to you. Or to you. You can buy yourself toys. There's nothing wrong with it. I have two of these Hatchimals. These are fun because they are little anthropomorphic little critters. Some of them are like mystical critters. And the way that you open them is a little bizarre, but it's kind of fun. So this is Hatchimals. This is series. Well, there are 60 to collect. Hatch, little kid, or twin babies. I didn't know we could have twin babies. They're a little bizarre in the way that they come out. So they come in this little egg. And you take them out of their blister pack. See that little heart there? Well, you're getting ready to poke at that heart. We have to help them be born. So you hold it in your hand and you press like that. And that's how they're born. <gasps> we got twins! We got twins! Hang on a minute. I know you're just as excited as I am, but we've got twin babies. We've got Bunny Sarah and BB Bally. <gasps> Oh my goodness. They are so itty bitty. We're twins. See, they've got, they're like little creatures and they've got these little sparkly wings. I don't know what kind of critter. You, well, it's a mythical critter. We don't really know. It's like a hybrid between a bear and a pegasus. That's cute. These are a little messy though, these Hatchimals, because they do kind of fall off into little pieces. So be careful if you have a young child around or a, an animal or a pet. You don't want them to, you know, to swallow that. All right, we got another one. I have to say, though, it is a little satisfying to open. This one's a pink egg. The other one was purple. And again, we got twins again, but different. Different twins. They were the same color, so it made me a little nervous. I'm going to put them on this little thing here. So you can maybe see them. I think they're like little, little cats. Are they little cats, do you think? They're little critters of some sort. Oh no, that one fell. I think we have the cat dancers. So we've got performance Pip. This is per performance Pip. And we've got, this one is little Gaga. Gaga. These two that we just opened, they were luau leopards. So they're little leopards. And then we've got the little cats. Those are adorable. Those were the Rainbow Cation. The Rainbow Cation Hatchimals. And I think, well, I think I ordered those from Amazon. But you can get them on, you can get them at Target. I'm pretty sure you can get them at Walmart too. I ordered these from Amazon as well. These were really kind of hard to find. Let me know in the comments, do you readily see these in like your Target? Because I had to order them online. They are the Pixar Minis. Not much of a blind bag, so it just popped right out on. Look, we got the old press 
Spectre. Remember he thought he was nice in the movie and then he ended up being evil? That was a little traumatic, I think. Anyway, I got four of the Pixar minis. I will not be as flinging them open. Oh, see? Oh, I don't like this one. It's the bug. That was the most horrible movie. Except for Heimlich. He was the only character that I kind of liked. No. Okay. I think you are also from A Bug's Life. I think. No. Are you from? Oh, I don't know. Are you? Is he from um, Monsters, Inc.? Or Bug's Life? Let me know in the comments. He's kind of like a chameleon. I want to say you're from Monsters, Incorporated. I don't like that bug at all. I'm like triggered by that bug. That's gross. Why? Ew. Ew. This is the last one. I will say that these, you can kind of, they're not like protected. You can kind of feel around and maybe guess. I don't think it's forky. Ew. But I think you're from Toy Story. I think. He's that puppet guy. There, nowhere on here does it say what any of these could be. He's scary. Is that from Toy Story when they go to the antique store? Do you know who he is? Let me know in the comments. Okay, I'm not rolling because of the bug. I don't like the bug. All right, for a happier, for a happier unboxing, we've got a mushy squishy, and you can kind of, it kind of smushes around a little bit in the in the ball. Mushy Squishy was also... Oh, my! There's all kinds of them! I was just thinking that there was one! Oh, no! Look! Oh, my! It's a narwhal. Bye, buddy. I hope you find your dad. It's a narwhal, and he is squishy. He feels so weird. Smells like you would expect a little rubber toy to smell like. Oh, my gosh! Look at the little chicken. <laughs> They're so squishy. Look, we got a little thing of poo. Got a little poo-poo here. You want to squish the poo-poo? There you go. And a little bunny. And, oh, I think he's a little dinosaur. Oh, those are fun. And a little rubber duck. Those are so fun come from? These were sent to me by Liza with a Z. Eight minis. Squish squash. Two in one value pack. They were five dollars. That looks like a family dollar general. It looks like a dollar general. But looky there. We got a little uh, octopus and a little pig. And oh my gosh, look at the little penguin. And a little unicorn. And, oh my goodness, a little turtle. <laughs> and a li another little dinosaur. That is a $5 fun bag right there. That's $5 worth of joy. All right, now we are going to do these two things. I don't really know what to expect. I got both of them at Marshall's. This one is Bubble Loons. They were, they were both $4.99 each. A confetti party. Oh, no. Is it confetti? And it's probably going to take me a few minutes to open. So, I'll be right okay. back. I, I immediately am mad. Because the, it was there's confetti in here. Up there in the top of the lid. So, when you opened it up, confetti. So, I, I'm not real happy about that fact. There's the critter. I guess it's a kitty cat. A little rainbow kitty cat. Okay, there are a lot of components to this. Let me just tell you that. First of all, we've got the confetti in here. I don't know what this was supposed to do or if it made that. I'm just throwing that whole thing away because I don't want to deal with that. And it has all these other little pieces. You attach these other pieces to this and you can like decorate the cupcake. Okay. Well, that's all wonderful. So it's got a bunch of like little pieces. And then it comes with like these little like squishy things. But what you do is you use this little wand and you put one, you, you put the little squishy thing on the end and you put the other end. And this is Stella, by the way, Stella the cat. 
you put it in her mouth and then you smush her head and okay i have to try again because it d didn't work let's see you squish her head she's not working she's supposed to blow up her balloon and it's got glitter inside the balloon then you can pop it off of here and you can put it on one of these things but then it starts to deflate i would say no Let's try it. Let's see if we can make her blow up one more balloon. Come on, Stella. You're making my area a mess. Oh, how far can you go? How far can you blow your balloon, Stella? Look at her. Messy? Yeah, there's a hole in it. I would not waste your money. Sorry, Stella. We're throwing all of your stuff. We'll keep you. Because you're kind of cute. You're rainbow and fun. But the rest of your pieces, no. All right. Don't recommend the balloon blowing ones. Now, here's crybabies. I, I opened up the crybabies. Let's see if we can figure out how to get this. It's taped up at the top, too. I want to say that we pull this part down. We're going to do this together, maybe. Okay. Nope. What, what do we, how do we, how do we get into this? I don't know how a child can get into these things. Okay, so here we go. Oh no, it looks like a lot of components to cry babies. All right, so we've got this little wardrobe, a bureau. Oh no, does she have things that go? Oh, look, we do. We've got little things in here. We got little booties for her in her little dresser and a little pacifier oh that's good to have if you have a baby have a pacifier maybe these weren't booties these are little mittens because these are the booties for the baby we don't know what the baby looks like yet but there's the baby's booties booties and then in this little drawer you know what? we're just going to take this whole cardboard thing off and this one is, ooh, she's got a sleep mask. Because every baby needs a sleep mask. Right? All right. So in here, oh, we've got some stickers. Uh, so apparently we have Aura. 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 Well, let's look at her. Well, there she is. She's awfully, sh you're a shiny baby. Well, I don't think that she pees because she doesn't have a little hole where her you know, pee comes out. But look, we'll put her little booties on. Booty. And a booty. Okay. And then we'll put a little passy in her mouth for right now. And her little mittens. They don't really stay on very well. And then this little thing, we've got her little bottle. Oh, and she's got... Oh, she's got a little jacket. Basically, you put water... Okay, I'm going to go fill her bottle up with water, and then we're going to make her cry. Okay, we filled up her bottle. Oh, we got to take your pacifier. She got, like, eyeballs on top of her head, too. So we're going to put her bottle in her mouth. Oh, no. Well, she's not drinking too well. She's making a mess all over the place. I know I read the instructions correctly. Apparently, her face is supposed to turn blue, and then she cries. And then she's got a hole. You can unplug the back of her head. But she is not. Like all of the water basically squirted out of the bottle. I, I did the directions like it said. Okay, well. Don't know about her. I don't think. I, I don't recommend the crybaby doll. Now I'm just stuck here with a wet table. And I'm out $5 basically. Not as fun as these squishy things. I would have rather spent money on these squishy things. No mess, no water, no glitter. Okay, don't recommend getting those. You know what I do recommend though? Cutie fruities. These are adorable. These are the minis. They have bigger ones too that come in these little baskets, but these are the cutie fruities. These, these and the Yummy World Kid Robot, they were all sent to me by my friend Jean. And these are great. The only thing that I that I wish about these is that they smell like the fruit. They don't. But they're little cutie fruity minis. 
And they all have little names. Again, a lot of these are not the easiest things to open. Then we've got this little seal here that we peel off. <laughs> Look at here. We've got Mary Mango. It's a bunny. So we have one we have two that are not blind. This is Raspberry. I'm wondering, because the other ones that I've opened also had these two, and I'm wondering if all of them get those two. Nope. Here is Olivia, and Olivia is a, a, an orange slice. So that one's cutie fruity number one. Let's do cutie fruity number two and see if we have different ones. Okay. Oh, we've got... Oh, it's a different one. We have Wally. I think Wally is a little strawberry, little plushy strawberry. Look at his little tooth. And then, oh my gosh, this one is Baby Applestein. Oh my gosh, it's a, it's a little baby apple slice. Those are adorable. And then we've got our blind bag one. This one is, oh my gosh, this one's so angry. This one's just Perry. Perry's a little pear slice, giving you the side eye with a little smirk. Boop, boop, boop. So cute. So I'm glad we didn't get some duplicates there. All right, we've got two more cutie fruities to open. I'll take this time to remind you, too, if you like these sort of videos, please subscribe to my channel, The Misty Show. I also have my main channel is Thrift or Junker Vintage Hunter, where I sell vintage and antiques and go thrifting and all those things. So if you like that sort of thing, too, go and subscribe to my main channel, Thrift or Junker Vintage Hunter. It is linked down in the description below. Okay, so we have two more of the cutie fruities. Please don't be a repeat. Oh, I think we've got a repeat. So we've got Mary Mango and we have Raspberry. And let's just see if this one is Olivia. Yep, we got Olivia. And then we've got one more. Woo! Oh, we've got Baby Applestein. I have a twin brother. So we got some repeats, which happens. We've got Wally, Wally little watermelon slice. I thought he was an apple or a strawberry, but I think he's a watermelon. And then we've got Perry. Perry the little uh, reflective, lots of thinking about little pear slice. So those are cute. All right, thank you, Jean, for sending me those. But now the moment, maybe, that you've been waiting for, we're gonna open up this entire box. The entire box of Yummy World. These are made by Kid Robot. You can order them online if you would like. There's lots of different varieties. And we've got, oh gosh, we've got a lot to open. I'll try to make it quick. I've got 21 of these to open. So let's just get right on to it. All right, these are a true blind bag. I love that they kind of have a box to kind of um, hide the mystery inside, and then you get a little, your blind bag that you open up. And oh my goodness. Again, the only thing that would make these better is if they smelled, look at the little cupcake. He's a little keychain. It's nice because you can add more. They have these little hooks so you can add more, more than one for one keychain. And the bottom of his little cupcake uh, foil is flocked. So it's soft there. He is adorable. All right. Box number two. Another blind bag. Oh, we got we got his brother. We got his brother. Box number three. Oh, it's feeling a little big. I'm hoping we didn't get triplets. We didn't. We didn't. We got a new one. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. <gasps> Oh my word, look at the chocolate-covered strawberry. That's adorable. He's got little eyeballs. Look at his little mouth down there. And his leaves are flocked. That is adorable. Again, the only thing that would make them even better is if they were scented. All right. 
I'm going to lose count. This is box, box number four of the Yummy World. And we got... <gasps> I think you're a raspberry. And he's like translucent. So you can see... Well, you can see through his body because that's what translucent means. He is so, so cute. Look at his little mouth. He's smiling to the side as well. All right. Next box. You would think that these would be a little bit easier to open, but they just don't... They're really glued down there, these boxes. When you get into the middle where the blind bag is, there's a little notch. So that's nice and easy to just rip open. Oh my gosh, look, it's a little shake. It's a twofer because it's got his little body of his cup and then his little buddy, the whipped cream on top. They're buddies. That's adorable. Next one. These are really cute. Kid Robot really does a good job. Oh, we got another. We got a brother to the raspberry. All right. Next one, you feel different. It feels different. Nope, it's not. We got another repeat. We got the strawberry. But oh my gosh. Very, very cute. All right, we're almost done with the top layer. I did open two of these in on my main channel in one of my vlogs. Oh my gosh, it's a piece of pie. I thought he was a cheese because I love me some cheese, but he's a little piece of pie. Look at his little whipped cream as his nose. These are great. This is a lot of fun. Okay, we got the notch there and we got his brother. We got two pieces of pie. Next box. I tell you what, they're glued. So they're not very easy to open, kid robot. We're on that last layer there. Oh my gosh. He's a little lollipop. It's a cake pop. Look at him. Little cake pop. Next one is, oh, a big donut. It's like a Homer Simpson donut. Look at him. Man, I still, that's the only thing. I, I say that a lot. I know that I do, but. It really would make a big difference if things smelled. There's probably, they probably can't because it's a manufacturing. Probably a manufacturing reason why. Oh, we got another cuppy cake. So we've got three cupcakes. The cupcakes are three out of 24. And we got three. So hopefully we won't see any more. The raspberry is two out of 24. We got two of those. So there are 24 boxes in this. So hopefully we won't see those anymore. I think, let me get the strawberry. The strawberry is also three out of 24. So hopefully, according to the ratios, we won't see those again. But they lied. Well, I guess not. So now we have three. We have three strawberries. So now, hopefully we won't find any more. There's an egg that I really, really want. He just looks so, I don't know. He just looks a little pitiful. I really want the egg. All right. What one. Man, well, we, got, we got four cupcakes. We're only supposed to get three of them per 24. We've got four cuppy cakes. Come on, egg, egg, egg. At least I think it's an egg. It looked like it in the on the packaging. It's a new one. Oh, it's an orange slice. Look at his little smile. And I like how there's like a little translucent on the slices there. That's adorable. So the orange was two out of 24. This one right here is the one that I'm really wanting. That one right there. We, oh no, okay, I thought we had a repeat of the orange, but we didn't, so I think this is a grapefruit or a blood orange. Blood orange. I'm gonna have blisters on my hands from opening these boxes. Why are you so hard to open? You're just a little cardboard box. They've got all this glue on the top of the box. Are you tired yet? We got another Homer donut. Come on, egg. Come on, egg. We want you, egg. We need the egg. 
We need the egg. Oh, we got a little limeade. Oh my gosh, this one's cute because it's got a little friend up there. I got a little friend. Mm, I'm still hopeful. I'm always hopeful that maybe one of them will smell. Maybe I'll get lucky and get the one, the one that will smell. Oh, another Homer. Got another Homer donut. Which is delicious, by the way. We got two more boxes. Come on, egg. You can do it, egg. Cheer on for the egg. Not an egg. It doesn't feel round. Oh, we got pineapple. Pineapple friend. Well, this is the last one. This is the, ho the last hope. The last hope of the yummy world by kid robot we want an egg 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 no we got another orange we got an orange slice we got a twin of the the other orange well that was a lot of fun and my little fingers are sore from opening them all up but those were a lot of fun the yummy world basically anything that you're getting by kid robot any of the blind bags are amazing. The, the detail on them are whimsical and fun. So, Kid Robot, kudos to you, Kid Robot, for the Yummy World Fresh Friends keychains. 10 out of 10. I appreciate it. And thank you to Jean. Thank you to Jean for sending these to me. It was a lot of fun. You are so kind. I thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And leave me a comment and let me know what was your favorite critter that I opened today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.